what's up you guys, Courtney here, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about how to sell your old clothes and how I sell mine and how I've made money off selling my old clothes and just things I don't use anymore. The two methods I use are Instagram and eBay. I personally have tried out other apps like Vinted and Poshmark but I haven't found success with them. I just have stuck to Instagram and eBay and that's how I have made all my money by selling my clothes and I'm going to tell you my like tips and tricks of how I sell mine and how you guys can sell yours too and make some extra money to use for things you want to use now. Like me, all the money I make really just goes to buying new clothes and also buying concert tickets pretty much. Might as well take something that's hanging in your closet that you know you're not wearing and get money for it so you can buy something new. To sell your clothes you will need two things, a camera or a phone. Um, I just use my phone because you really want to get good pictures of the items that you are selling. You want the lighting to be good, you want the location of it, just like a plain background. I find those to work the best. I usually put mine out on my floor or I have it hanging on my closet. I just have it on a hanger. Also another good thing is if people ask you questions to see like a picture of the clothes on, always just have like a backup picture on your phone of you having the clothes on your body so people can see how it fits. Or if you're someone like me who has taken a bunch of pictures in their outfits, save those pictures so you can just have them ready whenever someone asks how a piece of clothing looks on. My Instagram account is called Two Preppies Closet and it's its whole own account for just selling clothes. Now, for me, it was a little bit easier to generate followers because of my following on social media. But for anyone trying to do this, um, my tips for gaining followers so people can see the clothes that you're selling um, would be to make your account and just make it a name that has like something to do with selling clothes and I would follow a bunch of other accounts that sell clothes so they will see that you have stuff for sale and you can see their stuff for sale because I've bought off of like Instagram accounts before. I would also use a bunch of hashtags when you start posting pictures of your clothing because the more hashtags the more that chances that someone will see it so hashtags like for sale, selling, and like you could put the brand name in say for instance it was J Crew shirt. Hashtag J Crew, J Crew for sale. Um, and you can list the size and everything and hashtags. And when you're selling something, you want the description to be very, like, just brief, but have everything, all the information in it. You don't want to make, like, a paragraph long thing. Now, for me, for when I um, sell my clothes, I have a standard shipping, and I have that listed in my bio. It's $5 flat rate. And for me, I only ship to the U.S., so if you were only going to be shipping to a certain country, you really want to make that clear in your description. So I would put the shipping rate that you have and where you want to ship it and your method of payment up in your bio if you're doing an Instagram account. Um, for me, I use PayPal and I only use PayPal because that it's the safest and easiest method to transfer money um, across online. I mean, I don't know really of any other payment methods, but it's very easy to set up a PayPal account. Parents already most likely have a PayPal account. I, for a while, until I had my own PayPal account, I have done it through my mom, and she just transferred the money to me. So if you don't have one, you could always ask your parents if you're allowed to do it through theirs. Now when it comes to pricing your clothes, like I said, you want to like look it up and everything and see how much to sell it for. And you have to evaluate the item you're trying to sell to see if it has any stains, any little rips, or anything wrong with it at all. And if it does, you have to make that notable in the description of when you're selling it. If it's on Instagram or eBay, you want to make it very specific and you want to show a picture of it. Now, I have sold things that maybe have a little defect on it, but I was very specific about it and the people knew it that when they were buying uh, the item that it had a little defect in it. So when I make my descriptions for my items, I have my Instagram account up right here, all the clothes that I'm selling. So for instance, I am selling this pair of sneakers right here. So in this description, I have the brand, what they look like, I have the size, and if I've worn them or if they're new, and what I'm going to be asking for. So the description is Keds blue and white polka dot sneakers, size 6, worn once, practically brand new asking $20. So you want to make it specific, like very simple but also very specific. Picture that I have here are just them just simply 
on the floor you don't want anything distracting in the background now when you're selling on ebay they have this whole thing for you to go through where you can type your description you could then you have to input the size the brand and everything all separately on ebay and i've been selling my clothes on instagram more than ebay because ebay changed their app around and it's just a lot slower and it's kind of set up differently than the old app was and i don't i'm not really fond of the new way the app is set up so i just stick to instagram and instagram is also very faster because you could just snap a photo write your caption and upload it but ebay it's a whole process to go through but it's definitely worth it because once you have the listing up you can always simply relist it if it doesn't sell and ebay does charge you a fee where we're doing on instagram is completely free but ebay the fees are very small but uh if you're selling bigger items it's completely worth it to have the fee because you're getting a lot more money in return and also ebay you have a very much wider audience so if you don't think you can attract people on instagram with the clothes you're selling definitely stick to ebay then because people do search for specifics and ebay gets a lot more into the details and you could input everything so it's easier for your items to come up when someone searches for something. So when you're looking for things to sell, I would go through your closet and look at the pieces that you have not worn in a very long time. For me, I sell pieces that I no longer wear, pieces that are too small on me, some things I still have with tags on it because I just never ended up wearing them. And at my closet uh, at home here, um, it's just completely filled with everything I'm selling. So I have all my stuff with me in the city um, all my clothes that I wear now, but this dresser behind me and my closet are full of clothes um, that I just sell. So you can see that it looks like I have a bunch of clothes here, but these clothes are actually all the clothes I'm selling, so you really can go through your closet because that's a lot of money that's just hanging right there. Now my other tips for selling would be be um, very on top of it, your account, because you want to be checking this every single day and replying to people if they are interested in it or if they have questions. So you definitely want to be very active and on top of it. And when I sell stuff, I ask for the payment within 24 hours. Um, so you know that the payment will go through and so that you can just ship it out right the next day. And that is also something that if you sell something, you want to ship your item out like as soon as possible. If your account, if you don't really have anything more to post, you always just want to keep reminding the people who are following you that you still have these certain things for sale. That is what I do. And also when something's not really selling, I always reduce my price. So I'll have like price reductions of what it was to what it is now. And also what I do, I do bundles too. So if someone is interested in more than one thing, say they're interested in like five things, you can bundle them together and cut the price for the person. So um, it's convenient for them and you because you're earning the money, but you're offering it to them at a lower price and you're getting the clothes out of your closet. So now I'm going to show you how I list an item and just making sure it's all like square and perfect and like set up and how the lighting's good and how I kind of just the basic my process of how I go through when I list an item. So when I go to sell my old clothes, I just look in my closet. So I'm going to go into my closet and say, for instance, I want to sell this dress right here, I'm going to be using this one as an example. This one is just from Lily Pulitzer. Um, it is just a little too small on me now. So what I will do with this, I will either hang it up on my closet right here. I have a little hook. Or I'll lay it on the floor, but since this one, it's like a brighter color, it's going to look nicer up against a white background. So that's one thing you want to think about is if it will look nicer up against a certain background since I have dark wooden floors, I think this will look better up against the white. So now I'm kind of just on the floor, but this is important because you want to get the best angle for your piece to look the best and your photos will come out the best. So I will just take mine on my camera roll first and now with Instagram it's better. You can just do full size instead of square so you can fit the entire photo in. So you just want to get down, just get the best photo you can. And you want to take your time and play with the lighting and everything. So don't put filters on it. You don't want to make the clothing seem like a different color or anything. You want it just to be as the best, the truest color that you can convey your piece as, like as much as it looks like in real life. You want to try to get a picture of it like that. Now I'm just going to go to Instagram and upload it. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and it was just some of my tips and tricks on how I sell my clothes. If you guys have an Instagram 
like closet account or you're making one, leave it below because I'll wait a few days and then I will put up a whole list of everyone who's left theirs below on t my Tumblr so people can go and check yours out so I can help you guys out with that. My Instagram closet will be linked below and I'm also going to link my eBay below because I will be listing some of the things on there. If you have any other tips or suggestions, you should leave them down below so everyone can benefit from them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!